Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how you can customize the iOS 7 apps on your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Let's get started. All right, so as you can see on my iPhone screen here, I went ahead and changed some of my favorite applications that I use all the time into a wood look finish to the app icon. So the way I did this was pretty simple. All I did was go ahead and download a free app called App Icons. Now before you go and jump into the App Store and download it, I strongly suggest you watch this video all the way till the end because I got some cool tips that will help you use this application and get the most out of it. So when you open it up, you'll be taken to the top 200 new or top 200 popular applications applications and you can just scroll through them and you can see pretty much every application that most people have on their iPhones. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and download one of these and I'll show you how it works. So let's go ahead and change my Twitter app. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and you'll see that a blue check mark appears as well as an install tab at the top right. Now the one thing you need to make sure of before you start trying to install these applications is that you have the real application on your iPhone first. So I have the Twitter app so that's why I got this check mark. If you don't, it'll prompt you to install it first. So once you've tapped on it, you've got the check mark, we'll go ahead and tap install. It'll say right here, I'll give you a little note, you want to tap on save and install. Once it opens up the profile section, again, you want to tap install and then install now. And then you'll need to put in your password if your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch is password protected. Once you've done that, it's gone ahead and installed it on your iPhone home screen. So there you have it. We've got the silverish looking Twitter application now and it works just the same just by tapping on it. It'll open up your Twitter account and you can see your Twitter news feed and everything like that. It's pretty much the same application. It just forwards over, which is pretty interesting. But let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look at the app icons application. Now at the top left, we've got our settings where you can see the top 200 new application designs, the top 200 popular application designs. The section here, which is saved, is actually all the different applications you've got on your iPhone right now now and that's pretty much what I have going on for me right now and if you tap and hold on them you can go ahead and delete them just by tapping on the red X which is just like you would if you were deleting a regular application on your iPhone and same goes for the applications that are on your home screen that you add if you just hold on them and then tap the X it'll prompt you to delete it and then you can go ahead and delete the application so there really is nothing here to worry about in terms of applications being stuck on your iPhone. So again, back into the settings here. Underneath the saved section is my favorite and that's the themes. And what I like about this is that you've got a ton of different themes here that look really interesting and nice and actually bring your iPhone, the whole design into one. So it's kind of combined all the different designs like this one here is a bling design. It actually looks pretty interesting with all the little diamonds in the background if you want to really be a show off or something like that. But uh, there's tons of them here. My favorite is this round theme here, especially with the black background, it looks really nice. And all you do is simply tap on the applications you have on your iPhone and it'll go ahead and select them. And then you can hit install and it'll go ahead and install all those applications all at once, make things really easy for you. Now, one thing here which really separates this application is the icon maker. And this one allows you to do something that you can't really do with this application. And that's one of the downfalls is that this application won't allow allow you to change the stock iOS 7 apps, which is unfortunate because that's probably the worst thing about iOS 7. Some of the applications don't look the best, but there are little ways around it. If you create your own application here, you see we can actually change the SMS, MMS, and email and call. So we'll go ahead and change the call one here. And all you do is basically choose a skin. So we'll go ahead and pick one here. Let's go ahead and take this blue. And then you can choose a frame here. And then we'll go ahead and choose a decor here and this one here so we know it's the phone application. And then what you do at the bottom here is just simply tap on it and then put in a phone number. So if you have a phone number in your contact list, all you would do is just type it in there. So let's just go ahead and pick one at random. So 416443456. This is just a random info phone number. So it's not really gonna do much. And then once you've added it, you just go ahead and click the check mark at the top right. And it'll go ahead and give you that install section and we'll go ahead and hit install. And then it should pop up with this again, hit install once again, install now, put in your password if you have one and it should appear on your home screen. And there we have it, my call. And if you tap on it, it'll go ahead and phone the number or use whatever application you do create because you can actually create all the different applications rather than using a pre-created design. And again, deleting is just as simple as holding and then hitting the X on the applications you no longer want and they'll go ahead and delete. So that's pretty much the app icons application here. It's really interesting and really allows you to take advantage of a lot of different customizable features 
features to change the app icons on your iPhone. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know if you've found some tricks to get some of the stock iOS 7 applications out of your iPhone. Really right now I've been playing around with the creator here and I've been trying to actually change some of these ones around but it does look like you can do it. You just got to be creative or sort of work around it. And uh, with the call application again uh, because I created it and specified a specific phone number this is only going to allow me to call that one person. Anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. As I said thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit that like button and I will see you in the next one.